What is up you guys? It is Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 2 of trying to discover the best vegan ice creams out there of each flavor. Yes, episode 2 we are doing chocolate flavors. Now I'm excited for this one. Um, I will say there are not quite as many as for the vanilla. It was more difficult than I anticipated. A lot of brands that had the vanillas had either like a chocolate truffle or a chocolate peanut butter. One of the ones that I got were chocolate truffle because I felt like the base is still chocolate so it would pass and I, I tried searching a lot of different stores and it was difficult so you won't see the same brands as we had last time for the vanilla round but you will see some new brands that we didn't have for the vanilla round so that will be exciting. So this time we do have just four rounds. We're gonna have a coconut round, we have a banana based round, oat milk round and then the singular rounds, ones that I can only find one of each base. So we're gonna jump right into it. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And yeah, go check out the vanilla episode if you haven't seen that one already. Otherwise, let's get started with coconut. All right guys, so for round one, the coconut milk based ones, we've got some familiar faces over here. We've got our coconut bliss, and this one is just dark chocolate. Our oh my gelato, not a moo and so delicious. Again, I could only find the no sugar added, so let's just hope it doesn't affect the taste in any way, but oh, I am so excited. We are about to get sugared out here, you guys. Oh, girl, I just opened that up and look at that color. Ooh, baby. Let's see, we have to scrape the top. It's kind of like necessary. Wow. Mmm, super creamy. You can taste that coconut a bit, which to some people may be off-putting. I like it. Um, there's a lot of people out there who just don't like the taste of coconut. I do though, so... Oh, that chocolate. So on point. Oh wow, that is so good, you guys. Like, mm. Like if I had bought this and not the other ones, I would be definitely super happy. Wow, Coconut Bliss, you guys did a good job. So I'm gonna like just keep this around because I definitely think that's a high contender. It's gonna be hard to judge it against gelato, but we'll still see how it turns out. Because you never know, it could surpass it for some reason. But it looks like that, it looks a little firmer. Feels a little firmer. Yeah, definitely having to dig a bit here. Mmm, mmm. Not that same soft, creamy texture, but it's luscious. This one's a lot richer of a chocolate taste, but the chocolate is just as good. Mmm, mmm. But texture wise, yeah, more gelato, moussey, rich. This is dense. Girl, she's thick. Mmm, but that's good. Holy cannoli. These ones are pretty much the same. It's just the consistency and texture that's a little different. This one's a lot fluffier, lighter, more ice cream-like. And this one's, yeah, like a really tough gelato. But flavor profile are quite the same. So I'm gonna like put that aside for now because they're quite equal, to be honest. Now, not a moo. They are kind of notorious to be a little sweet. So we'll see if it's a little too sweet, how it comes through, if it's very chocolatey. It looks like a little lighter in color compared to the Coconut Bliss. But texture-wise, it my spoon goes into it just nicely. That sounds odd. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Mm. Hmm. Not as strong of a chocolate taste. It took a while. Like, those being so strong in chocolate, it, like overpowers my palate to try this. It's a lot lighter. I don't know if it's because that's dark chocolate and this one's just called organic chocolate, but it's good. It's just not quite as chocolatey. So I would say if you're a chocolate person and you don't mind the coconut flavor, these two probably would be the better contender. I would say with the dairy-free gelato, wait it to like melt a tiny bit so that's softer to eat if you're gonna just enjoy the entire pint. 
but jumping into so delicious, let's hope that the fact that it's no sugar add doesn't compromise the taste. But she a tough one too, just like the gelato, but let's see, nice dark color. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's gonna be a lot more difficult, I think, than vanilla. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Flavor-wise. I would say I would have to push not to move off to the side because flavor-wise, these three held their ground very, very well. For texture, it's still somewhat almost icy. I'm gushing due to the lack of sugar. But, oh my gosh, honestly, flavor profile, I find these very equal, but due to the fact that we're looking for a nice fluffy ice cream, I'm going to say Coconut Bliss wins the coconut round, which I think they also won the vanilla round, so good job, Coconut Bliss. You guys do a really good job, but man, this is good. <laughs> All right, I don't want to get sugared out. Coconut Bliss wins coconut round. Let's move on to the banana round. All right, you guys. So yes, for banana round, we found two different ones that have banana base. So you may recognize Hakuna Banana from the vanilla one, but we've got this one by Snow Monkey, which I've never tried before because they didn't have a plain vanilla. So I'm super stoked to try this. It's different from the others it says creamy blend of fruits seeds and superfoods just a dairy-free anytime dessert so and 24 grams of protein in this oh girl like who are you fighting i might just eat the whole thing if it's good but i want to start with hakuna banana and oh i mean i can already smell the banana but knowing that chocolate is a strong flavor let's see how much it overpowers the banana Ooh, that texture is so Soft. Oh my god, there's chocolate chunks in there too. Oh. Mm. I love the added chocolate chips, but super strong banana flavor. But I like it. Mm. The texture is so different, but it's so good. Like, it's indescribable unless you go out and try this. But if you enjoy making banana and ice cream at home, you will enjoy this thoroughly. Wow. Mm. Girl. Decadent. That's the best way to describe it. All right. Snow monkey. Okay. Oh, interesting. Super dark in color. Super icy and tough. <laughs> like, let's see how well it spoons, but... At least we know it's chocolate by the color. Yeah, that is definitely like a superfoods taste to it. Barely can taste the chocolate. I don't like it. I don't know, I'm still eating it. Like, it's good for a superfoods dessert. Banana is an ice cream. <laughs> Hakuna banana wins this round, quite obviously. So, woo, that was interesting. All right, you guys, let's move on to round three for the oat bases. All right, so for the oat bases, we've got two today. We have Planet Oat, which you may recognize. For the Oatly brand, I think I only saw like a chocolate peanut butter again, so maybe we're gonna have to do a chocolate peanut butter episode because there's a lot of vegan ice creams out there that had chocolate peanut butter. But I found a different brand called Totes Oats. How cute is that name? Like, so adorable. So I'm super excited to try this one as well, but I think I want to try Planet Oat first. Let's see how this baby tastes. I remember the vanilla was like subpar just because like the oat flavor came through really strong. So let's see how this one is. Ooh, she's soft. Ooh, girl. Mm. Ooh, who you fighting? Wow, that texture is perfect. But taste. Hmm, mmm. Okay, solid chocolate. The texture is, mm, 
there's almost like a gumminess to it, like this chew to it. Like you can also feel it when you spoon it. <laughs> Sounds odd, but hmm, I like it. Not as overpowering, poweringly chocolatey, but it's definitely a chocolate ice cream. And the oat is so so light, but it's not as much of a bother as it was for like when I tried the vanilla flavors. So, see so yeah, Totes Oats is. Super cute name, oh my gosh. Nice and dark, chocolatey color, okay. Also easy to press my spoon into. Ooh, girl. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Icy for some reason. Like, you can hear it. Let me see, some ASMR. Like a lot more ice crystals, but I feel like this has just like pure melted chocolate. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think even though it has that weird icy texture, I don't know if that's from being in my car and like the slight melting to freezing again. But nevertheless, that's so good. Totes oats. Definitely wins this round because the chocolate is just way more prevalent. Even though texture wise, I do like the Oat Planet a little more. Wow. As you can tell, I can't stop eating it. Mmm. Okay. All right. Round four, the final round with the singular flavors. Let's get that going. All right, you guys. So for the final round, we've just got like the singulars of some certain flavors. We've got an almond milk. We've got avocado, we've got cashew milk, and we've got ripple, which is a pea protein. So yeah, the cashew, we have so delicious. So this is the one I was kind of talking about where it's dark chocolate truffle, but because it's a chocolate base and it's not like chocolate peanut butter, I felt like it could go along with this theme of just chocolate ice creams. Um, then we got Simple Truth, which comes from, you know, your Ralph's or Albertsons. Then we've got Ripple, which is like a pea protein base, and Kado, which I was quite surprised at how good their vanilla was. So pretty curious as to how that one tastes. So let's just, I don't know, we can start with any of them. So let's just start going ham on bam with cashew milks. Ooh, girl. Can a vegan even call it going ham? on food if they're vegan. Food for thought. All right, dark ch oh. Yo, oh, that texture. Mmm, girl, mmm. Mmm, wow. There's something almost a little off. I don't know what it is. It could be that it's cashew based. Like, I don't know if I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I'm also getting the fudginess from the truffle. So that could be why I'm getting like an alternative taste in my mouth. But I'm really, really liking the texture. The flavor is solid. Not much to complain about. Just a little different. Mm. It's good. It's good. It's hard to rate it. Hmm. Yeah. But I like it. I for sure like it. The chocolate truffle part, delicious. All right, let's see how Simple Truths Almond Beast is. A lighter color. Ooh, very soft in texture. Let's see. Mmm, mmm. Pleasant, simple. I can taste the almondy milk. Almondy, I don't know, that's a word. Hmm, it's okay. Like if I hadn't had such other rich flavors of chocolate from the other bases, this alone would be very good. But, it definitely falls a little short when it comes to that rich chocolatey taste. But it's pretty good. So I'm gonna say the So Delicious is a little better than the Simple Truth. Now, let's go for Ripple. So far, I'm feeling okay. Not too sure it out so far. <laughs> oh, a lot of ice all over the place. Okay. 
Let's see. Oh wow, very soft as well. Super light in color. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Much less ice crystals, super soft on the palette. Wow. Texture is amazing. Taste. Not crazy strong. I love the texture. It's really, really good. Smooth, simple chocolate flavor. Solid, absolutely. But due to it not being quite as rich, I think I'm gonna put the cashew milk before it, but it's a very close behind it. Now let's see how Kato catches up. Let's see if this has any possible of contending against these other flavors. Ooh, more ice all over the table. All right. Nice chocolatey color. Texture, soft. Very soft. Oh, girl. Mm, oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks like ice cream, everything. That is weird. <laughs> super, super, even softer than the ripple. But I can almost taste the avocado. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm also still eating it. It's just because the texture is so perfect. But due to the fact that there's just this off, slight offness to it, it does not quite catch up. So, for that reason, so delicious cashew milk wins. Alright, guys. So we found our winners of all four rounds. So you are gonna have to stay tuned for the next episode, part two, where we put those four flavors head to head to decide who is going to be number one. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and let me know in the comment section below. Maybe there's a flavor that I haven't tried because I couldn't find the brand out there or what, or maybe you like one different than what I like, let me know as well. Otherwise, vote also for what flavor you want me to do next and stay tuned for the next video to see who wins number one chocolate vegan ice cream. I love you guys. Stay healthy, don't eat this much ice cream as I have, and I'll see you next time. See ya.